G'day folks and welcome to Big V TV. Great to have your company as always. On a day where I've been spending time with the sharks that are dominating the ocean out of the aquarium, of course. Right. But What's the sharks, well, the sharks down at the shark tank, mate. Are they gone? Who? Which one? Southern Peninsula. Are they gone? D1 men, gone. I think they... No, they're struggling. No, no, I like them. Well, I have a soft spot for them, mate. They're struggling it's... at the moment. Yeah, I know. One man who won't be struggling for the rest of the season is Brian Vaughan. We spoke about Brian last week on the show, of course, but... He, uh, well, he... He was going to finish out the year. He was going to finish out the year, but he's packed it in. Uh, Saturday night against Ringwood, that was his last, last game. I hope they're happy Yeah, as. it was. It was oh. his last game. No, not happy at all. and Not what I wanted. But he will show up somewhere next season, without a doubt. Yep. Oh, of course he will. And his experience yep. and the enthusiasm yep. that he brings to the sport it's will great. be better, a well, better team. Broncos lost for mine. I just don't think they've had the cattle this year, and it's been hard for Brian. But we wish him all the best in the That's future, and no doubt we're going to see him somewhere for sure. Big stories, and there has been plenty during the week. DV import in the ladies team. Ashley Jenkins, who you said was doing all right, yeah, by the way, last week. Good. You said she was doing well. Mate, she's on the plane. She's on the big bird. She's gone home. Gone what home. happened? I'm not sure at all. It's like Ringwood. Ear to the ground. <laughs> She's onto it, isn't she? Ear to the ground. Uh, dare I say it, I don't want to speak about it, but five Cougars, thanks. McKinnon somehow in D2 men got up over Blackburn. What happened? No, just one week at a time, mate. Oh, oh, come on. Blackburn must have had an ordinary game, seriously. No, look, you know, we all give credit to our boys. We played well, but one week at a time. It was an upset. The newest nickname in the Big V, the Green Lantern down You're there. On I'm on, it. Right I'm on the Green Lantern <laughs> bandwagon. Of course, Cam Mitchell, he start again for the Seahawks. They are flying. Want a bold statement? Go. Per, for his division, he's the best import in the whole competition. Yeah. You want another bold statement? What's that? I reckon Warnable can probably win this year with the Green Lantern. With Nathan Sobey there as well. I reckon they could get up and win it. There you go. Well done to the Green Lantern. Uh, tenth double-double in a row. Eleventh for the season. He's only played 12 games, so he is flying at the moment. Yeah. And Stacey Barr, is she the most fouled player in... Th that's fouled, as in fouled, not fouled. Anyway, is she the most fouled player in the competition? She's been to the foul line 142 times this season, more than 10 times a game. Wow, that's important. Impressive. Well, is she the most foul <laughs> player in the competition? <laughs> Why did she get fouled so much? Well, she's got the ball of Phoebe, doesn't she, at the moment? Yeah. There's no doubt she's got the ball she more than to. any other play down yeah. there at the moment. Yeah, and she's uh, she's getting fouled. So, well done, Ads. I'm glad we practiced that off here. Uh, let's go to state champ, Manny Corletta and uh, McMillan. The old firm back in town for the Hawks. Theory on McMillan, mate. Ooh. Do you remember Paul Pierce a couple of years ago? Heard his knee went a wheelchair, went out. Plays in the same team as Ray Allen, the man that can't shoot. Yeah, that's yeah. right. He yeah. came back, ran in. Out. I reckon like McMillan faked well, he's it. Back. He faked it. Well, I don't think he faked oh, it. That's I don't a think bit he harsh. Faked it. That's he's fine. Uh, he's fine. Harsh. Flying at the moment. <laughs> Corletto, 30 plus points, yeah, and Ringwood nice. get up uh, over Hume City. No Aaron Hill. No, Aaron Hill did play. Sherbrooke gets past DV. I tell you what, the Suns are still shining at the moment, and I like them. Do you think they're going to get bowling for the fourth spot? Yes, I do. Ooh. And they play this week, by the way. Biggest oh. game, biggest oh. game of the Big V round coming up this weekend. If they get them, they've got head-to-head -head beat them twice. If they get up, I think you coined that one a ring a ding ding. It's a ring a ding ding. <laughs> uh, Greer, 27 and 12. Eltham get up too good for Bullane and uh, Tommy Greer. He is the best power forward in the competition at the moment. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. Big uh, No, Trick played. Played yeah. very, very well. Sturdy played. Play play sure. No, no. Sturdy did. Yeah, very, very Sturdy good. Sturdy got some boards for you. Sturdy got some boards. Got up and got a double-double. Got a, got a double-double. 10 and 12. Good. So we're happy with that. We're back on the Sturdy bandwagon. Other big news. As I said, uh, Melbourne better in state champ, man. Yes. Uh, but went down. Yeah, I, I like the signs. I think they can be okay. Derek McDonald. There's been game. about 18 coach changes this season for them. Throws teams out. I think they'll be all right. Okay. Eventually. Fair enough. State champ win. Katie Shanahan drops 30. Is that a career high? Ring would just get up, just get up over the Broncos. Yeah, Katie was really hot. She could uh, shoot the ball from outside the three, but also got, got inside the paint and got some layups too. Career high? I think it would be. 30 points got to two. be up there. Hawks get home by six. Zoe Carr, 22 and 11 against Bulleen. Good game. Eltham still powering, getting all those wins. DV home by five points over Sherbrooke. Burbridge was very, very good. And I think Sally Lang was up there again. Yeah, she had a really good uh, game. 24 points, still battling away. We know that Sherbrooke a little bit under man, but Sally's still putting up some really big numbers. Big surprise in state champ women. Waverley went down to Melbourne, and all of a sudden the Tigers are on the prowl. This is a really big surprise. I is thought it? Waverley... 
Yeah, I'll well, you a bit, bit of a surprise. Are you not surprised? It's not a massive surprise. What do you know about state champ women? What do you know about everything <laughs> else other than Div 1 women? Got no idea. <laughs> what I don't think it was a surprise. It was a surprise. Was. I thought it was a big surprise, to be honest. I thought the Falcons would have had that. <laughs> D1 oh, men's water will get up over Whittlesey. Whittlesey looking a bit shaky, the paces. Seahawks five game winning streak and the Green Lanterns in town. Yeah, as we said, they're up and about. And, you know, you reckon they're going to win, so we'll keep you on that What one. do you reckon? Can they win? Um, I think they could actually. Yeah, okay. it's a reading factor as well. Okay. Um, Ch Chelsea survives the scare. They beat Werribee by three, but went down. That was in OT, by the way. Yeah. But went down on Sunday to Melbourne Uni by 27. And guess who was leading the way for the Black Angels? Oh, was it? The Rotator <laughs> Cup. 27 the rotator. points. Did well. Scotty. Hawthorne upset Southern Penn at the Shark Tank by 22 points, believe it or not. Are the Sharks gone? This is a serious matter because they're struggling at the moment. They've lost four of their last five, and they are clinging to four. Spot. I still think they got some guys who can step up when they need them to, and I think they'll still make finals. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Geelong beat Altona by 27. Gators, one win in their last nine games. They had finals last year. Well, call them out. They're in trouble, the Gators. Oh, one well, win think, in nine games, not good enough. Yeah, they're battling at the moment. I think everyone else has stepped up and they've stayed at the same level and everyone's just gone past. Yeah, well, I thought they'd make top four and they've let us down. Uh, eight teams still in the hunt. Some big games coming up in D1 men this week could determine a fair bit, I think. Huge couple of weeks. D1 women, Warnable beat Whittlesey. Has that sewn up the top four? I think it has, to be honest, and Warnable are really tough at home. Stacey Barr, plenty of the ball again, 39, 18, 39 points, 18 rebound, uh, rebounds, Altona get up by eight, she's dominating. And that was a big leaders game too, I know Altona were missing a couple of players. Hawthorne continue to lead the way, and guess who's doing all the damage for them? Oh, is it Russell? The who? Russell oh, Crow. Russell Crowe, the gladiator, she's done it again, 22 and 19, she's averaging 22 and 15 in her last four games, <laughs> and if there's one thing we know for sure, as much as you loved Stacey Barr last year, yeah. Ads loves the gladiator. Go on. You've got you've got 30 seconds on the gladiator here. Wouldn't be enough time to talk about it. Moving right away. along. Scotty. Scotty doing great, isn't she? George Stott, we love it. Warren Dyke beat Chelsea by seven points. Some uh, some young guns for the better. Yeah, Casey Taylor actually stepped up and had a good game. She's playing both the youth league and uh, did one women. It's good for her. Summary got up over Craigie Burn by 10 points. Emmy O'Neill 18 and 11 in 25, 25 minutes. minutes. Yeah, when she gets up and gets going, she's very good. Speaking of a good player in the ranks at the moment, she's down at the Shark Tank. New player, US import, Erica Beverly, and this man here caught up with her. We're here at the Shark Tank with uh, the new import for the Southern Penn women, Erica Beverly. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Uh, so, one game under your belt. Um, must be good to get that load off. Uh, it, it wasn't really a load. Um, yep. uh, pretty comfortable going in and um, just my first game coming back from my injury. Okay. Um, felt, it felt good. Yep. It felt really good. Yep. Well, what injury was that? Uh, I had a knee injury uh, just about a year and a couple of months ago. Okay. And um, uh, this is actually my first game coming back from that, so I think I did pretty good. Okay. So, well, tell us a bit about it, about your background. I'm obviously from the states. Where did you play college ball? Uh, I played college ball at University of Hartford. That's in um, Connecticut. Yep. And um, I played there for five years. Uh, mm -hmm. Got my uh, my bachelor's degree. Yep. Uh, and then I put up some pretty good stats there yep. too. So. Yep. And you've obviously been noticed down here. It's a long way to long way to come. Is a lot. Is the game different? Um, yes, it is. Um, it's but basketball, basketball. Yep. Uh, just a little tweaks here and there that's yep. um, different. Um, it's pretty tough over here. I think it's tough in the states also. But I think um, uh, the girls are trained to be tough. Yep. So um, in that aspect, um, it's pretty. Pretty different. Sure, sure. Well, I suppose um, the next thing is a lot of the imports take maybe a couple of games, even you know, a half a year to get used to things like the travel rule, for mm -hmm. example. Um, did, in your first game, did you get any of that? Um, I actually didn't. Um, nope. I think I'm pretty sound in what the game is. Yeah. That I uh, picked up on it, um, yeah. and I don't think I tra I don't think I traveled, yeah. but. Um, <laughs> I think I did pretty, pretty, pretty yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. Well, is this your first time to Australia? Yes, it is. What do you think? Is it all right? Not yeah, too bad. Better than, better than there? Oh uh, no, no, I don't think better than there. Oh. But, um, <laughs> no, it's a nice country. Yeah. Um, pretty different from where I'm at because it's uh, it's more like city like where I where I yeah. live. Yeah. And here's much rural, rural, yeah. and um, yeah. so I, I think it's it's a beautiful country. Been so far from 
what I've seen. For sure. Well, you've been to the beach. It's a bit cold. Yeah, well, I, I've seen it from the car so Yeah, that's far. right. Um, and I plan to be out there just so I can get my knees, you know, yeah, cold after sure. a game or so. Of course. So, um, mm. it's pretty good. Oh, good. Well, um, the, other, the other thing is, it looks like, um, obviously, they've struggled so far, the Sharks, this season today. Um, brought you in to keep them, to potentially keep themselves out of Div 2 women. Um, so the fact that they brought you into this, is this, um, do you feel any sort of pressure to try and um, perform to get them, keep them out of there? Uh, I don't, um, no, I don't feel any pressure. No pressure. Um, just like a yeah. game going in, if we're down by, you know, by like 20 points and I'm coming in to do yep. something, I just gonna, I'm just going to do my best to, yep. you know, uplift the team. So I think that's my place here. Uh, I don't feel this pressure to come in and flip around yep. the season. I know where I came in, what I came into. So um, I think it's going okay. Yeah, I think so too. Well, um, also I've heard that you block shots yeah. in a big way. Mm -hmm. Do you talk trash after you block shots? No, I'm not. Why not? <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm pretty sweet and nice. So I'll block <laughs> it and then I'll get the rebound. And you look at him just, just like. No, 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 no. <laughs> None of that, no. Well, I, um, I talked to another import, Jamaica Banks from Mornington. Mm -hmm. The question I asked her was, has she tried Vegemite? And I'll ask you the same question. Oh, man. And she I likes actually, it. I actually just tasted it this morning. How'd it go? <laughs> and it went pretty good. I don't, hey, I don't know right. necessarily like it like that, but I actually tasted this morning, yeah. actually. Yeah. Oh, well, coincidental. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you very much for, for joining us. Um, good luck for the rest of the season, thank Erica. Thank you very much. And um, no doubt we'll be hearing a bit more from Erica Beverly um, throughout the end of the year. All right, so thanks very much. Thank you. Well, we wish Erica all the best of luck down there at the Shark Tank at the moment. No wins from two games with Erica in the team, by Is the way. Is going to get them out of... Um, Don't think so. No. Don't think so. Now, listen, you've had a crack at me during the break, young man, because yep. you've said I haven't fired up this week and I've called nobody out. Yep, you've been I don't quiet sit us. on the fence. You sit on the fence. Oh, you you sit on the fence. On the fence. I've already said it. Southern Penn D1 men will not make the finals. In fact, they, the they have fallen away, not good enough. Bang, they will not make it. They might be in fourth right now. I just did. It's they good. won't You're stay there. After I called I'll, yeah. I'll tell you something else that yeah. I'm not happy about this week. Yep. McKinnon. Alright? Because you're too scared to say it. You're too scared to say it. The reason you got up over Blackburn is because Marcus Timmons took himself off the court and coached from the sidelines and did a damn good job. There you go. You won't say it. I will. He did a good job coaching. Well, would you prefer him on the sidelines or out on the court? I think he's got abilities <laughs> in both, mate. He can do whatever he wants. Anyway, we'll see if that gets back to you. I'm doing everything I can to get him in trouble down there. I'm finally <laughs> D2 men. We just spoke about it. The Cougars got up over Blackburn. Enough said on that. The oh, Vulture. The Vulture, nah, more than enough. 25 points, 18 rebounds, and five blocks. Campbell beat Horsham by six. Oh, he's up in a bear. He's, like he's playing a great season, the Vulture. Oh, he, and, you know, old legs, and, he, you know, he, uh, he isn't the lesser brother, maybe. No, no. Well, maybe maybe he's going to be the real one now. Packenham and Keelor both get Maccabi. What's <laughs> happening to our boys? The bandwagon, the Maccabi. The four wheels are falling off. Yeah, they're done. Uh, like, you know, the, we, the, the expectations weren't that high, but I think they've got some guys coming into next year that could help them out. But yeah, I'm glad you got that out. Uh, I'll tell you one team that has struggled since the Easter break, yeah. and I'm all over this, and you're not yet again. Coburg have now lost nine straight games. That's not good enough, is it? Well, it's not good enough. Call them out. Oh, well, Get D. Mac Berry and the boys up and going. Oh, I, I think he's doing it all there. I, I don't know when expectation isn't sky high, you can't be upset when they don't perform. <laughs> Mate, no one wants to hear that crap. Just call them out. Oh, so you're just going to get on me every <laughs> you, should, you shouldn't have had a go at me during the break because I'm on fire now. Like that. Craigie Byrne, 12 point win over Cranbury and Craigie Byrne, well, they're not too far Te away. Teetering on the edge, but I don't, I think the gap's too big for the top four spot. Yeah. Western Port lose to Blackburn on the Sunday, uh, sorry, on the Saturday that was. Oh, that? Justin, uh, is it Boucher? Bo Borgia. Borgia. 30 points of Western Port 61. Yeah, he's What's going on? He's man? their coach. He's got a great beard, and um, yeah, he dropped thirty. No one else did a damn thing. Bad Sanders carrying... not there. Where's Bad Sanders? No idea. Well, I'm, I'm okay. Not okay. D two women. Blackburn beats Western Port. Uh, two v clash. Two v three clash. I should say. Well done to the Vikings. Yeah, it's good to see them back getting a win. <laughs> good start. <laughs> Keelor smashes Werribee by 54 points. Uh, by the half, Keelor had scored all the points that Werribee had scored for the whole game. Melbourne Uni get up, good win. They beat Camberwell. Uh, Marie DeWin and Mia Rick are doing all the damage. Yeah, very much, and they're a little bit closer to that fourth spot. 
Yeah, maybe. Tamara Matichik for McKinnon, good game too. Yeah, she finished with 23 points in their win against Latrobe Uni. State Youth Champ 1 men. Oh, Ring your favourite. 27 points over Hume City. They get up. Trent Zoma, bang, 27, Zoom, 10 and 4 blocks. You love Zoom, him. Zoma. Zoma. Love him. He's a gun, mate. Melbourne Free. beat DV. Yes. And they didn't have Stefan Uzalak. And they still won. I don't know. Well, and Melbourne, the new top dog. Turmoil struck Don Valley. Oh, turmoil. What turmoil? Oh, well, come on. Don't sit on the fence. You know what's going on. It's all happening. Good man. weekend but, for but, Elf. I don't know. They'll be fine. I reckon when it comes to it, Don Valley will beat Melbourne in the final. <laughs> I've got no idea on what's happening down there. I'm you just wouldn't, you know, because anyway. it's youth, mate. That's why you Elf, the two wins uh, on the road. They beat Geelong and Bulleen. Are the Wildcats still in the hunt? Oh, I reckon they are. They've hit form right about now. That's three in a row for them, so yep. they could still make it. Well, maybe Waverley have submitted fourth. They got up by 22 on the weekend over Hawthorne. Ding, ding. Where is he? I don't know. He's oh, gone. Hasn't been playing. Altona. Alcatraz. Finally. Oh, finally. Alcatraz is back. It's a weight off for us, isn't it? Beat you along by 28. <laughs> they weren't doing a thing since Alcatraz started. No. Uh, State Youth Champ 2. Men. Whittlesey lose again. Mornington get the paces. Yeah. What happened? Um, three and a half minutes. Scores are locked. You're right. 60 all. You got this? All right. Right. No score. This will be a thrilling According story. According to live stats, it's going to be better than anything you've brought Right, okay, today. go on. Um, until the last second, tip in Anthony Pegg, also known as Jake. Yeah, Jake. Um, tip in with no seconds left on the clock to win the game. That was the only bucket in the last three and a half minutes. Did you understand any of that? Ah, uh, something. Not really. Yeah. Glenn Wansborough, 22 and 14, by the way. Great game by Wanners. Uh, by Wanners. Yep. Sandro Santo, 22 and 20 for Latrobe City, and they get up with another win. They beat Western Port. The old fella. He's just got him, and they're up the in the goat whisperer. Bang! Coburg <laughs> upsets Kiel or by two points in. <laughs> OT, what's happened to Keelor? I don't know, see, every time we think it's we're all safe and you two men, it just throws us something else, and I know you don't know what I'm talking about. The gummy fun. sharks Why get up over the you two men. The gummy, mate, so sharks, you gummy sharks get up over the Cougar Cubs. Yes. <laughs> right, okay. Craigie cool. Bird's still in the finals, so they beat fourth place Cranbourne by did, 11. Did they? Or well, didn't they? Did they, you tell me? State champ women, on we move. DV by 75 points over Sunbury. Jade Charles had a huge, huge, huge another huge game. Tell us 35, what you did. 35 points, 10 boards, 6 assists, 6 steals, and uh, 5 of those shots from outside the three pointer. Is she still cutting your lunch with Arkell, by the way? Yes. She is. Rubbish. No wonder she's playing well. Uh, big weekend for Altona? Uh, two big wins. Mm -hmm. uh, on the, they had two big wins on the road, yep. we should say that. Nice. Uh, they beat Ringwood on uh, Saturday. Smash Dogger in the gang, yeah. Yeah, very much so. And then on uh, Sunday, they beat Hume City. Uh, and I think they've jumped up into the top four now. Yeah, six to four, they'll turn Six to four. Good work by the Gators. Waverley Power on 49 point winners over Craigie Burn, 33 over Geelong. Geelong, no Jess Watson. And uh, they the are sailor. a totally different team with Jess Watson. No, She's sailing. Big girl, she Half gets the ball to inside. She's yeah. really, really strong. Yeah, nah, she's on the water. Uh, Bulleen upset health by nine points. <laughs> Yes, they did. <laughs> <laughs> Round 14, games of the week, no sitting on the fence. State champ men, Waverley in first, v Eltham in second. Um, oh, what's the status on Daniel Dillon, do you know? Just tell us who's going to win. Who cares? Who cares? Who's going to win? It makes a difference. It if makes a massive Lane, difference. Gonna be in a well, what the hell would I know? Well, you wouldn't. Because well, you, what... you're got your ear to the floor when you tell everyone. <laughs> well, well, Daniel Dillon <laughs> made the um, the Boomers squad, mate. Right, well, maybe he's not playing. Well, maybe he's maybe in Nippy does an elf more. Right, Sherbrooke and Bully in fourth and fifth. This is a massive game. Sherbrooke will win. By how much? Oh, 12. State champ women, Ringwood and Melbourne, 2v4. Don't ask you, who's going to win, Ringwood or Melbourne? Um, I think Ringwood will win. Melbourne. Eltham 1 v Waverley 3. So the top four playing each other, Eltham or Waverley? I think Eltham will be too strong again this week. If the Tigers can upset Ringwood and Eltham beat Waverley, Melbourne will move to third, by the way. So keep an eye on that. Thanks for those notes, by the way. Uh, D1 men. Uh, Hawthorne, Latrobe City, 8th versus 7th. Oh, I'm going with Important Hawthorne. Game. Hawthorne. I reckon whoever okay. loses this, they're gone. Really? Season over, yep, absolutely. In, in terms of finals. D1 women, Warren died in 5th versus Altona in 2nd. This wasn't the game of the week. How did this get in there? Oh, that's a massive game. That's a huge game. I wonder if the coach
coach at Warrandot will be able to shut down Stacey Barr. I reckon the, 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 the kitchen's getting a bit too hot for Warrandot in this one. <laughs> D2 men, Mildura and Keysborough. Someone's been stuffing around here. Mildura and Keysborough. Oh, Mildura. Mildura <laughs> Hey, where's their slut the D2, yeah, that's coming. D2 yeah. women, Western Port and Coburg, third versus four. I think Coburg might be able to get a sneaky win. I don't trust anything on here now. State Youth Champ 1 men, Ringwood and Eltham. Oh, uh, Ringwood, God, oh, Ringwood was special. <laughs> State Youth Champ 2 men, Werribee and Cranbourne. <laughs> I think Werribee, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> Yeah. And state youth champ women bullying and Hawthorne. I think uh, Hawthorne will be too tough. Can we just put it on the record now that I don't like talking about Warrandyte on this show, but that someone keeps putting it in the notes all the time. Yeah, I hate Let's talking get about Get out of here. Had enough. See you next week. Bye bye for now. Yeah. Yeah.